Today's meditation is on John chapter 15. Jesus is the true grapevine. I am a branch, and Father God is the gardener. Father God cares for the branches. He lifts me and props me up. He prunes me so that I will yield a greater harvest. I am pruned and purified by the Word. I remain in Christ, and He remains in me. My life will be fruitless unless I live my life intimately joined to Christ. He is the vine, I am a branch. I live in union with Him as my source, and fruitfulness streams from within me. Apart from Christ, I am powerless and can do nothing. If I separate myself from Him, I would wither and be thrown away like a useless branch into a pile to be burned. But I remain in Him, and His words remain in me. I know that I can ask for anything I want according to God's will, and it will be granted. My life bears abundant fruit and demonstrates that I am a true disciple who glorifies the Father. Jesus loves me with the same love that Father God loves him. I keep his commands and live in his love, just as he obeys the Father's commands and remains in his love. The joy of the Spirit fills my heart with overflowing gladness. Jesus has commanded me to love others the same way he loves me. I do not take this command lightly because he gave his very life for me. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for a friend. And I am a friend of Jesus because I do what he commands. I am no longer a slave but a friend. A master doesn't confide in his slaves, but Jesus has told me everything the Father told him. I didn't choose Jesus, he chose me and commissioned me to go into the world and produce lasting fruit so that Father God will give me whatever I ask in Jesus' name. His parting command was to love others deeply. When the unbelieving world hates me, I remember that it hated Jesus first. If I conformed to the world, the world would love me. But because I won't align myself with the values of this world, they hate me. Since they persecuted Jesus, naturally they will persecute me. Anything I suffer from this world is because of my love for Jesus, because they have rejected God. They have no excuse for their sin. Anyone who hates Jesus also hates the Father, and they hate without cause. But Jesus sent me the Spirit of Truth, the divine encourager from the very presence of Father God. He speaks to me about Jesus, and I share what I know with others. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.